In this video cast, I'm going to be showing you some early infant activities and how to create them using interactive whiteboard software. As I said uh, in the article, I'm going to be using Promethean's Active Inspire software to do this, but any interactive whiteboard software should work for this, as the only tool I'll really be using here are shapes. Um, I'll also do maybe a couple of other fancy things, but these can be ignored. Uh, in, in interact whiteboard software that doesn't uh, it doesn't have these features so I'm going to open up active inspire primary uh, and we should have that up any second there we go and essentially I'm here with my blank uh, sheet now before I do anything with infants a blank background usually doesn't motivate anyone so this is one of the fancier things I'm going to do is I'm just going to get a decent background by going to Active Inspire's uh, resource library and going down here I'm going to choose a decent background. They have a list of backgrounds here and we'll see which kind of nice one we'll have. Maybe some sort of illustration would be nice. They have a number of illustrations down here and I think we might go with something fairly child friendly. Um, I think we'll go for maybe spacing. That might be nice. So we'll just drag that onto the screen. Okay. So hopefully that will make any uh, child very happy to do their early infant maths. I'm sure it will. Now I'll just duplicate that slide a couple of times because we're going to be doing three activities. Now, the first one is all about patterns, and as I said, the only thing I'm going to be using are shapes, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. And what we'll be doing um, for the first activity is some uh, is looking at some patterns, and we're going to see if the children can categorise those patterns. So we'll start off by drawing uh, some circles, and we'll just do some uh, a few uh, some red circles. And we'll do some yellow circles. And I think two colors is enough at, pri at that level. And what we'll do then is we're going to get the arrow and we're going to duplicate these several times on the screen. And to duplicate them in this, there uh, is the duplicate button here and we can just click that a lot. There's probably lots of different ways of doing this and using Active Inspire software. But I guess this is probably the easiest way for me to do it. Another way maybe is to right click in other interactive whiteboard software and uh, that, will, uh, that will have a duplicating option. So that's probably enough for the moment. And we'll just move the shapes over here to the bottom of the screen. Great. Now I'll just set up my pattern first of all. By moving the little counters, and quite quickly, I think you can see what we're doing. We've ended up with a bit of a pattern here. Okay, so at this stage, we can ask children what comes next, and they can come up to the board and drag up the correct counter that will come next. Now, this is a very, very simple uh, way of doing it to make things more. Interesting for, for the children, I suppose, with a continuous space theme, you could try and find clip art of different planets um, and create patterns that way. If they weren't into space at all and they wanted to pick a subject they liked or you were doing a theme on something, let's say farming, you could do patterns of animals. Um, or if you had a fairy tale, you could use that. So it's quite a, quite a nice option there. So it's a good way of sequencing patterns. And uh, we'll, um, we'll see if we can move on to the next thing now, which is... Okay, so we're going to move on to the next thing, uh, onto a blank flip chart here, and we're going to look at the concept then of sorting. Okay, now to start sorting, what I'll want to do is I want to create some bins to sort stuff out into. So I'm going to create a few little, uh, two boxes. Okay, two blue boxes. Sorry, one blue box. My apologies, and one green box. Okay, that should do it. And around the screen, I'm going to...
going to find, I'm going to draw some things that are green or blue. Okay, and in this case, I'm just going to be drawing shapes rather than um, rather than anything else. So we'll have a few circle. We'll have a star. We'll have an arrow. And we'll look for some green shapes now. Do a triangle. And we'll do a diamond. Of course, you might be able to use this for uh, 3D shapes, or sorry, 2D shapes or 3D shapes. You could pick pictures of things from the internet and drag them in, and they can be uh, done by color. Um, as I said, this is a simple example just of, of, um, of using shapes to this, but it's probably more beneficial to sort things that are more relevant or you can sort things by size and uh, things like that. So again, this is all set up very quickly and uh, the children can then drag can drag their shapes into the right box. And again, they can have conversations around that with the children. So that's essentially um, a way of sorting. So uh, that's, again, nice and easy to do with children. The next thing we're going to move on to is matching. Okay, so we'll go to the next page again, nice blank space, and this time I'm just going to be matching shapes to shapes. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a pretty easy thing, and we might do big shapes and small shapes, but they're the same shapes, so that's kind of the complication that the children have to deal with. And we're going to look at build some shapes here, so we'll do a circle over here, and a little circle over here. We'll do a triangle here, and a little triangle here, in the same shape. Uh, we'll do a square here, and a little square here. Okay, and then we're just going to line them up. In a nice way. Okay, so there's two options then the children can use. They can use a pen and simply draw a line from a shape to a shape to match. Or the other option is they can use the uh, select tool and they can drag, drag a shape to its corresponding shape, just like that. So that's um, another simple way of matching uh, things together, another early infant skill. And there's plenty of ways of doing that. Again, if you don't want to use shapes, you can use pictures and if you want to use numbers, you can use numbers. So loads of different ideas for early uh, maths. Again, this can be used on any interactive whiteboard software very quickly, very easily. And um, the key to making it a little bit more motivating for children is to pick themes that they like. Make sure you try and have a background uh, that will make it a little bit more stimulating as well. And that should help matters too. Okay.